What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all of the players that are playing the Vinyl Shape on PlayStation. Now, I know a lot of you have heard about the you know amount of players that are playing on PC. You know, the player base has definitely peaked since the Final Shape's release, and of course, the Final Shape has received really good reviews from you users and of course critics. I mean, the critic reviews are outstanding. But lately, there's been a lot of tracking of the PlayStation players, considering you know Bungie is owned by Sony now. A lot of people were curious exactly you know, how many PlayStation players are interested in the final shape. And of course, this is taking stats from around three or four million of the PlayStation accounts that have been logging in daily on PS4 or PS5. Now, this is not going to be all of the totals. You know, we're not going to have every single number here. We can't quite track PlayStation numbers like you can uh, with PC. But it says right now, Destiny is holding a 86% player count increase for the last two weeks on PS5. It says the final shape launch brought an 86% player increase to the game. And since two weeks from launch, only 0.45% of that boosted PS5 player count has actually dropped off from playing or actually has stopped playing already or, you know, started playing other things. So this really shows uh, that the final shape is really popular no matter what platform you play on. And of course, that is, you know, something that I'm not surprised to see. Uh, it was a really great story. Uh, and of course, the post-game content is, you know, really good as well. A lot of exotic missions and things to do. So uh, it's a, just a really engaging story. And I think a lot of people are finally getting back into Destiny, especially with all the quality of life changes as well. But like I said, that was just a sample uh, from 3.1 million active PSN accounts. So that shows you if there's an 86% uh, increase in two weeks from 3.1 million active PSN accounts, if that... If there was a way we could collect all of this data, I would really like to see how many people on PlayStation are, you know, back into, are getting back into Destiny. And just overall as a whole, uh, like I said, Destiny is doing really well, I think, with the player base, um, just in general. Because, like I said, of all the changes that have been made, the quality of life changes, of course, a lot of people want to see how the Light and Dark Saga actually ends with the final shape. But there's just a lot going into Destiny as of late, in my opinion, that has been changed that has made the game better for returning players, veteran players, you know, people who have hung around for a really long time and played, you know, off and on every season or still play all the time, and also for brand new players. There were a lot of changes that Bungie made with the Final Shape update that kind of helped everyone, no matter, you know, if, like I said, if you've played for a long time or if it's the very first time that you've ever played the game. So it looks like everything right now is going in the right direction for Bungie. I know a lot of people were really curious exactly what was going to happen. After the final shape got delayed, a lot of people were kind of worried that, um, you know, Destiny 2 may not make it. You know, they may have to make another game or Bungie may move on to other projects if, you know, the final shape did not really deliver like it could. And it definitely has delivered. And it looks like Bungie's really not slowing down. I mean, as soon as the, you know, as soon as the uh, story was done, we got the raid. Then, of course, you know, we got the 12 man activity and then we got the echoes, you know, the following week. So they're really putting a lot into the final shape. And, you know, it looks like this update going forward, you know, for the next several, several months to the end of the year or into early next year, it looks like we're going to be getting a good amount of quality content. And if they can continue to do that, I definitely don't see players, you know, leaving whatsoever. Uh, so it looks like that player base on PlayStation will continue to, you know, be on the rise. I think you'll still continue to get new players coming to the game if you can cont continue to keep good quality content. Like I said, that's not even including all the people that are playing on PC. So you can kind of imagine, I'm, I'm sure Bungie's really excited and happy to see all of these players coming back to the game, playing on all these different platforms, whether it be Xbox, PlayStation, or PC. And I'm hoping this is going to really keep them motivated to continue to make really great content for the game in the future. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the player increases. Let me know what you think about uh, the game as a whole now that the final shape has released and you've had some playtime. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.